hungry, I can eat that guitar. Well, if they don't like this song, we'll vote him. And make broth out of strings. Give him the words, Roy. The cowboy and the senorita met in Rosarita one night not so long ago. The cowboy and the senorita made the night much sweeter with words like I love you so. He said life on the range is such a lonely life. Won't you pack up your shawl, acquire a draw, and be a cowboy's wife? They marry, and their plans all carry. They've the little cowboy, and oh, what a kiss. Why don't folks do like the cowboy and the senorita did? He said, don't send me back, back to that lone prairie. I've got a saddle or two for me and for you. Come right away with me. They headed for the church and wedded. Bought a little rancho, and that's where they hid. Why don't folks do like the cowboy and the senorita did? Look at my suit. Gravy and potatoes. What do you intend to do about this outrage? Police adjustments will be made. That's not enough. I demand this ox be fired. But it just began. Either he goes or I'll take my family to the cafe across the street. And I don't like singing with my meals. You heard him? Take off that uniform. You through, too. You mean we don't even eat? Look at those dishes. You should pay me. Come on, Teddy Bear. He's got a good case. Roy, as far as I'm concerned, this steady work ain't very tasty. How would you know? <laughs> well, the taste I got back there was pretty sour. And I'm warning you, if we don't get grub steak and bonanza, I'm hocking my horse and saddle and going prospecting. Well, you can count me in on that. Craig Allen's a man to see about a job in Bonanza. Sure does. Not a sign of her. Well, go over it again. Get your gang together. Listen, that gang ought to be up to the mine doing the work right now. We're wasting a lot of valuable time hunting that kid. What about our deal? The deal can wait. Hello. Yes, this is Craig Allen. That's number nine. He's back! Sheriff Gilbert's back! Find her yet, Sheriff? She's still lost. Any clues? No, not yet. How'd you make out, Ferguson? We drew a blank, too, but Alan wants to keep searching. Are your men up to it? Men are, but the animals ain't. 
I figured to ride down to the Rancho Santa Martinez and pick up some fresh horses. How about you? All right, we'll meet your posse at the Black Sands Cutoff. Okay. Hey, what's all the excitement about? You gold strike or something? No, they're looking for a little girl who got lost. Half the country's searching for her. Orphan kid, too, friend of Mr. Allen's. How do you like that? This is a punk time to ask Mr. Allen for a favor. We're not asking for favors today, Teddy Bear. I've got a better idea. Hands open, place your best word. Excuse me, uh, you're Mr. Allen, aren't you? That's right. I'd like to have a talk with you. Uh, right in. Thanks. Well, what's on your mind? A job, but that'll keep. Right now, I'd like to help you find that little girl. I have a partner out there who'll do his share, too. Uh, we can use you, all right. You got a gun? This crook gummed up the machine. Don't get excited now, gentlemen. Probably a little short circuit or something. I'll make it good. Put a slug in there. Wait a minute. That ain't no slug. That's the kid's jewelry. Where'd you get that thing? Where's the rest of it? I found it. Nothing but a cheesy little gadget off this. What's all the hollering about? Just as I thought. Chip's bracelet. What's wrong? Take a look at this. Got her name on it and everything. Sure shooting those guys done away with that kid. We did not. Tell them where we found that thing, Roy. You've got us all wrong. We picked it up on the trail just outside of town. Save the rest of it for the sheriff. That was a cute idea trying to join the posse to fool us. Sheriff's down at the Martinez Ranch. Telephone him to wait there. We'll take this pair with us. I'll phone him for you. Bring him outside. Come on. Don't be so familiar. Hello, Fuzzy. Is the sheriff gotten here yet? Yeah, he's over at the corral now getting some fresh horses. Well, tell him we've captured the kidnappers. Kidnappers? Yeah. Jump in captives. Got some news for you, Isabel. You found her? No, but we picked up some men who know something about this. Are these the two suspects, Mr. Allen? That's right. They tipped their hand down in my club, Sheriff. Take a good look at these men, Isabel. Have you ever seen them before? No. Are you sure? Positive. Did you take Chip away? Please tell me the truth. I am telling the truth, Miss Martinez. I haven't even seen the child. Neither is my pal. I wish I could help you, though. So do I. For some reason, I believe you. What makes you think they're lying, Craig? Because we found this on them. I told you I picked that up out on the trail. You keep out of this. Please, Craig. You're strangers around here, aren't you? That's right. We were looking for work until we heard about Chip. Then we offered to join the search. Sure. We'd still like a crack at it. After they've defrosted in that jail, they'll talk, I guarantee you. In jail? But you think you've pushed us around enough, Mr. Allen? I've told you the whole story. What else do you want to know? The truth. I was hoping you'd confess, but since you won't, take him away, Sheriff. All right, Ferguson. You're making a mistake, Sheriff. I think so, too, Craig. At least be fair about it.
split up and try to run under the trail again. Meet back here in an hour. All right. Things two drumsticks. Share, share alike. Sure wish it was a turkey. Pretty good pickings, I'd say, for a couple of fugitives. Roy, if you ever see me picking up anything shiny again, I wish you'd just kick me where it hurts the worst. <laughs> that bracelet was hotter than a rivet. I'm kind of glad you picked it up, Teddy Bear. Otherwise, I might never have met Miss Martinez. Wonder if we'll ever see her again. Sure, why not? She'll probably be in the front row of the hanging. So will Lulabelle. And Alan. He's a funny guy. Yeah, but not funny, ha-ha. Trouble with him, he's too rich. There's nothing wrong with being rich, Teddy Bear. It's how he got that way that counts. I know one way. He's a dice cheat. They ought to call him Games of Chance Allen. Hey, what went with my leg? Well, you ate it. I did not. Stop clowning, Teddy Bear, and finish your grub. Now, look here, Roy. If it was a wing, I'd say it flew off. But it was a leg. So it walked off. Here, eat mine. Walking in his sleep. Sorry to interrupt, miss, but would you care for a finger bowl? This is hardly the time to joke. I'm in trouble. We're in a little trouble ourselves. But I'm hungry. That makes us even all around. Oh, all right. Here, teddy bear, split it with Roy. Besides our names, what else did you hear? Enough to know that you're suspected of kidnapping me. Your chip? Uh-huh. While you were at it, why didn't you swipe a couple of pies? Thoughtless of you, Teddy Bear. Suppose a posse drops in for dessert. If they did and caught her with you and me, they'd use us for dessert on the end of a rope. I'm evaporating from this country right now. They won't. They combed this territory yesterday looking for me. Suppose they recomb it today. Why did you run away, Chip? Because I had to. But you wouldn't understand about that. Well, we might if you explained a little. You're a mighty dangerous woman to us. You'd better break down and explain a lot. Suppose I do tell you. Would you promise never to tell anybody else? Sure, if you want it that way. All right. My dad told me where he buried his treasure. I know it sounds crazy, but he did things like that. He didn't trust people. You're a little bit like him, aren't you? Well, I was till now. Stick to the treasure. Where is it? In a mine up the mountain, in a box. In a box? What kind of a treasure is it? I don't know till I look, but it's something valuable. And I've got to find it before Isabel sells the mine to Craig Allen. She's my half-sister, and that makes her boss, because I'm underage. I bet you there's gold in that mine, Roy. No, there isn't. But there's something there. And whatever it is, I don't want Craig Allen to have it. Do you understand now? I think so. Why haven't you tried finding the treasure before, Chip? I did. Right after Dad died. But I couldn't even get up to the mine on account of the snow. This is the first chance I've had. And I'm not giving up till I find it this time. Get the horses, Teddy Bear. You're going to help me? Mm-hmm. My partner's a mining fool, and I'm just a... Well, I'm just a fool, but let's go. about mines. They're drafty. You two wait here. Wait. Mr. Allen will be here in a minute. Gee, it's deeper than I thought. Let me dig. My paw was a beaver. Somebody's coming. Mr. Poppy, let's get me out of here. There's a cave in back. We can hide there. Come on. No, Chip. 
There's no use, man. You've got to face him sometime. Let me go. I won't go back till I've found it. Stay where you are, both of you. Chip, are you all right? I was feeling great up till now. Come on, you two. You're going back to town. Keep an eye on him, Sheriff. They may try to pull another fast one. Before you stick your foot in it again, Mr. Allen, I'd suggest you find out what the victim has to say. Well, I, uh... Go ahead, Chip. This is no time to stutter, stammer, or balk. Tell him. Here's the straight of it, Sheriff. I was hiding out on the trail and pretty hungry. I ran into Roy and Teddy Bear and they were eating. So I barged in on their dinner. That sounds more like a blind date than the kidnapping, doesn't it, Sheriff? Well, yes. Miss Chip here is telling the truth. I am. While you're in a truthful mood, suppose you tell us why you ran away from home. That happens to be a secret I share only with people I trust. And people who keep their word. There's no use getting mad about it, Isabel. I've got my reasons. Chip, I think you've acted terribly, driving us half crazy with worry and getting these innocent men accused of kidnapping you. Somebody around here ought to apologize. You said you were looking for work. Would you be interested in a job on the Martinez Ranch? Well, that depends on who runs it. You run most everything around here, don't you, Mr. Allen? What do you mean by that? Well, I'm particular who I work for. You'll be working for me. Well, then it's a deal. Suits you, Teddy Bear? There ain't too much work to it. It suits me, too. I'm glad you approved, Chip. Because one of Mr. Rogers' jobs will be to see that you don't run away from home again. I think I can manage that all right. I'm pretty good at handling strays. What? I practically saved your life and you turned jailer on me. Young woman, we're going to halt or break you. Oh, are you? I don't know. Are we, Roy? Well... <laughs> too late, boys. You took the job. Oh, she's a hefty little filly. <laughs> I see you girls are not seeing exactly eye to eye this morning. I just told her firmly that she'll not be allowed to leave the ranch again until the mine is sold. Then you started running. Well, what would you have done? I'd have held my ground and tried to reason with her. She's beyond reasoning. She's now staging a sit-down strike. Refuses to attend her own party tonight, and that just leaves me with the entire village on my hands. Roy, do you think you could reason with her? Why, sure. She didn't mean that jailer stuff about me. She's just a whimsical kid. Watch me. Who is it? It's me, Roy. Come in, Roy. See? Just a whim. Or was it a wham? How can you have the nerve to face me? When I got my back to you, I can't see which way they're coming. I thought you and I were friends. That's before you went over to the side of the enemy. Chip, I don't think you're being fair to Isabel. She's a pretty swell girl and... Well, what I mean is, I think she's a... A pretty swell girl. Yeah, that's what I mean. And I trusted you. You still can. I think you can trust Isabel, too. Why don't you tell her about the treasure, Chip? Oh, no. She'd tell Craig Allen and he'd get my mine and the treasure, too. I'll make a deal with you. You tell her the truth and I'll guarantee you she'll go to the mine with us. Us? Sure. That's why I took this job, Chip. I'm seeing it through with you. It's a deal. Gee, Roy, I'm sorry I bopped you. <laughs> I'll forget about that if you'll tell her you'll be at your party. That's a deal. Dear. Isabel, I'm a reformed character. No more running away. You couldn't drag me off the ranch. And the party tonight. I'll be there with bells on. That crash I heard. Who hit who? I didn't raise a hand to her. Then how did you do it? I made a deal with her. I promised Chip you and I'd ride to the mine with her, and she promised she'd tell you why she wants to go. Isabel, before Dad died, he told me he buried a box there. And I've got to find it before the mine changes hands. Oh, Chip, that was just one of his crazy dreams. I'll always believe in Dad. And if you'll come with me, I'll prove he wasn't crazy. Seems like she ought to have a right to do that. All right, Chip. Get your riding clothes. Oh, Isabel. You were right, Roy. She is a pretty swell girl.
You see, we sort of had an argument. About me? Yeah. Chip said you were swell. I said you were swell. <laughs> and who won? I guess we both did. <laughs> oh, good morning, Craig. Take care of this horse, will you? Sorry, I'm late, dear. Let's go inside. I'll be right with you, boy. All right. You're going to be disappointed in me, Craig. It'll be the first time. I can't go into town with you. Why? Oh, I promised Chip I'd go up to the mine with her. Humor me this once, will you? Don't I always? What's going on up at the mine? Well, it seems Dad buried something up there for her, and whatever it is, it's got her worried. She wasn't even going to attend the party tonight until Roy talked her into it. I thought we'd better sign the papers for the mine, if you wanted a check for Chip's birthday, but it'll keep. Don't worry about it. You're going to an awful lot of trouble for Chip, Craig. Buying a worthless mine is hardly good business, and you know it. Let's call it a hobby. Besides, you know why I'm doing it. Chip's only part of the deal. I'm really sold on you, too, Isabel. Don't forget that. You never let me forget it. Will tomorrow do with the papers? I'll have the magistrate meet us in the morning. Then it's a promise, bright and early. See you at the party at night. Wait, I'll walk out with you. You are you a ring. You will live like a king in a palace, bright and sunny. But there's one thing in doubt that I must figure out. What's that? What'll I use for money? Oh. Gonna buy a new car with a shine like a star. Guess the whole thing strikes you funny. It's a beautiful scene, but I see what you mean. What'll we use for money? Maybe buttons, or poker chips, or bullets, or peanuts. Maybe I'll find the vein of gold. All you have to do is look around. But when I think of all that gold, think of the trouble it's going to be getting it out of the ground. You're about to confess that you'll settle for less. Yes, you're just so plain dumb funny. But I get so upset that I always forget. What'll I use for money? How about marble? Or toothpick? Jim, yeah. I use money. Maybe he'll find a vein of gold just like a lucky cup. Why, sure. But when I think of all that gold, I'd be kind of tired digging it up. Well, you can't buy the moon for a wedding in June or a sky that's blue and sunny. If you drop all your care, you're a rich millionaire. What do we use for money? <laughs> this is probably the first treasure hunt for the floor show. <laughs> you don't take much stuff in Chip's buried treasure, do you? No, I'm afraid she's a dream like Dad. He had what they call gold fever. Most mining men have it, but some of them do strike it rich. <laughs> Say, Chip, isn't that the cutoff we took to the mine last night? Uh-huh, but it's so rough nobody uses it unless they're in a hurry. Well, for the looks of those tracks, somebody just used it in an awful hurry. Did you mention the treasure box to anybody? Yes, I think I mentioned it to Mr. Allen. Why? Well, I'll meet you at the mine. came up here, did he? No, I haven't seen him since morning. What's all this equipment for? I didn't know anybody was working this mine. Alan sent me up here to set up a drill and compressor. Roy! Roy Rogers! May I? Yeah. Come right ahead, Miss Martinez. Anything wrong, Ferguson? Nothing I know of, miss, except Roger seems to think there is. Chip, you better start digging your treasure. Teddy Bear, you better help us. It's over here. Shoot the light over this way, Roy! 
You hold the light. I'll take over. Did you know they were working this mine, Miss Martinez? Of course. Mr. Allen asked permission to start operations here, and I gladly gave it to him. Why do you ask? Well, it seems kind of strange to me that he'd go to so much trouble on a worthless gold mine. Especially when it isn't even his yet. <laughs> Does Rogers think we're digging for gold? Mr. Rogers, you seem to question Mr. Allen's intentions here, but you're wrong. Mr. Allen's not looking for gold. He's hoping to find manganese, and only hoping. <laughs> manganese? Exactly. And if he does find it, there's a contract already drawn up giving Chip half the profits. So you don't have to concern yourself with the future. Please leave that to Mr. Allen and me. I think we're capable of looking after our best interests. Okay. Isabel, look! We found it! Is that all there is? Well, they ain't even got a stamp on it. To my daughter Chip, to be opened on the occasion of her 16th birthday. Well, go ahead, open it. Oh, no. If that's the way Dad wanted it, there must be a reason. Well, you'll turn 16 at midnight. I'll open it then. It'll be sort of like Dad was at my party giving me a present. Really, Chip, aren't you being a little imaginative? Maybe I'm just being a little careful. Keep it for me till midnight. Gee, it's kind of shimmery in here. We'll ride on ahead. See you boys back at the ranch. All right. Goodbye, Roy. Bye. Thanks, Teddy Bear. I never thought she'd have took this along for a jewel box. You read it, Isabel. I'm too excited. Chip, darling, you already have the treasure. It is the bracelet I gave you last year. Scratch its surface lightly, and you'll find it has a value greater than you think. That and my love is all I have to give you on your 16th birthday. Dad. That's all there is, Chip. Just... the bracelet? Isabel, you don't really think Dad was... I'm afraid we always did think so, Chip. Well... I guess I know it, too, now. <laughs> For some reason, I think it was a fine treasure hunt while it lasted. Say, I don't even have the bracelet. Oh, I have it, Chip. It's in my desk at my office. Would you like to have me run into town and get it for you? Well, I'd like to know what it's really made of, but <laughs> tomorrow will do just as well. I don't agree with you, Chip. It's bound to be another disappointment, but I think we should get this nonsense over and done with once and for all. You're a big girl now, Chip. Can you take it? Sure I can. I feel differently about everything now. You just feel grown up, dear. I think it's a good idea, Craig. Go ahead. I'll be back before the party's over. Come on, Matt. If you want to see Roy, you'd better hurry. He's leaving the ranch. Leaving the ranch? Why? He'll tell you, hurry. He's in the bunkhouse. We're shoving off, Chip. By popular demand. Who's? Everybody's, I guess. It's better this way. Not for me, it isn't. Why, I wasn't even consulted. And I've got something to say about the matter, too. Wait till I get Isabel. Well, it wasn't her idea entirely, Chip. We resigned. There's no use bothering Isabel. She has Mr. Allen to advise her, and... That's the trouble with her. Allen. Why are you so slow to catch on? Isabel expects you to put up a fight, not just lie down licked. Please believe me. I'm a grown woman, Roy. I know. Now's your chance. Alan's going to get my braces at his office. Please do it my way this time, and I'll tell you about the treasure after. Wait a minute. What treasure? It doesn't matter. We found the letter, and I guess they were right about Dad. But that doesn't mean you're right about Isabel. Here, amuse yourself. I'll straighten this other matter out. Promise me you'll wait. All right. Scratch the what? Move your hand. I can't see. Teddy bear, I've got a hunch that old guy was crazy like a fox. There's more here at stake than just a bracelet, and Alan knows it. We've got to beat him to the punch. Well, I don't get it. Where are we going? The Bonanza Club. We can't beat them, eh? Chip said they already left. It's a long way around by the road. We'll cut right over the mountain. Boys, there 
Dollar Jam. Is Alan back yet? No, he's still at the Martini's Ranch. Yes, I know. He's going to meet us here. We're waiting in office. trouble down here. I'm terribly sorry, Craig. What can I say? You were right, that's all. Of course I will. Right away. Isabel, what's the matter? Roy and Teddy Bear. They took some money from Mr. Allen. Your bracelet's gone, too. You mean they stole it? I'm afraid so, Chip. Lula Bell, tell Fuzzy and the boys to saddle up right away. They'll be needed in the searching party. Yes, Miss Isabel. I just can't believe Teddy Bear did it. I just can't. I know what you're thinking, Isabel. We sure pick them, don't we? We sure do. Here it is. Light a candle. Dig in darkness. Whoever wrote that must figure everybody around here carries candles with them, like Chip. Wait a minute, maybe you got something there. Chip's candle. Remember, it went out in the mine shaft. Yeah, sure. It was dark, too. And we dug. You've dug deep enough. Now reach. All right, tie him up, boys, and we'll make prompt delivery. Thanks for the beacon. Hey, wait a minute. That's evidence. Now, where's the money you stole? Did Alan say we'd stolen money? Yeah, just 2,000 bucks. He hadn't got anything on him. Nothing here either. I'll take a look in their saddlebags. Where's Ferguson now? He's at the mine. What do you want to know for? Well, things are shaping up just the way I thought. Buzzy, you really don't think we'd steal, do you? Oh, well, I don't know about you, Roy, but he would. Did you find anything in their saddlebags? No, just a change of clothes. There's some writing on that bracelet that's mighty important to Chip. It may be the answer to the mine. Right? Let me see it, Bob. Light a candle dig in dark. Don't make sense to me. Nothing would. Well, dust to us, that's why we borrowed it. You don't want to see Chip bunkled out of everything her dad left her, do you? Why, of course not. Well, then don't string along with Alan. Who says we are? Well, you're playing right into his hands, holding us on this trumped-up robbery charge while Ferguson's digging into that mine. Don't forget, Alan takes over tomorrow, lock, stock, and barrel. Are you sure he's not buying a lemon? I'm not sure of anything. All I'm asking is a square deal for Chip. I've got a hunch that mine's loaded with gold. But we'll never know unless you boys are willing to play the hunch with us. What do you say, boys? Well, I'll take a chance. If it's for Chip, count me in. Can't lose anything but time. Sure, let's try. All right, Roy, we'll string along with you. Thanks. What do you say? Oh, it's all right with me. That's bad. <laughs> I'm looking for Ferguson. He around? I'll call him. Hey, Matt, come out for a minute. It's fuzzy. Any sign of those thieving dogs who got Mr. Allen's roll? Yep, we caught them. Did I hear you say you captured those bandits? Where are they? Well, uh, I don't like to point. <laughs> they polite, but they're right behind you. Huh? Now, let's keep this peaceable and happy. You fellas realize you're working with a couple of jailbirds? The law's after them. Well, the law ain't proved nothing again yet. We're inclined to believe somebody framed them. Hey, stay out of that mine. That's Mr. Allen's property. Not till tomorrow. And maybe not then. All right, take them away and tie them up. Come on. I think it was right about here. I've got it. It's cracked here. I'll bet there's a tunnel on the other side. 
I guess they got this wall plastered up to make it look like real rock. Let's get those picks and shovels and tear into it. Hey, this is Adobe Brick. Stand back and let me lean on it. All right. What do you think, Teddy Bear? Gosh, this ain't manganese. It's high-grade gold ore. Then your hunch about Alan was right. Well, let's get those sacks and start loading up. I hope this works, Roy. Say, what happens if we bump into the posse looking for us? What do you think we're taking three wagons for? Insurance. One of them's bound to get through. We've got to have a load in front of the courthouse by 10 o'clock to prove there's gold here. Otherwise, Alan wins hands down. That's one hour from now. Matter of the Williams estate, Judge. Hello, Isabel. Chip. Hello. How do you do, Mr. Allen? Judge. Sit down. Uh, <clears throat> Chip, uh, you are fully acquainted with the proceedings which I'm about to conduct? Yes, Judge. Isabel selling the mine to Mr. Allen, and that's that. Clearly put. Now, uh, you just sit back and relax. Freeman, uh, get me the file. Yes, Judge. All set? Roy, look, the law. We're sunk for fair now. Don't bet on that. He'll outrun us with these heavy wagons. We'll take the felt and cut off. Let's go. This trail crosses the road below. We can pick him up there. nice thing you're doing setting up a cash estate for this young girl. This certified check will provide for her education. <laughs> Probably get you a good husband, Chip. Courthouse. I'll get him over there as soon as I can in time. It's 
You're just in time to be cited for disturbing the peace. Well, I'll plead guilty, Your Honor. But first, you've got to hear how a manganese mine turned into a gold strike. And a mighty rich one, too, Chip. You haven't signed it yet, have you? No, but say that again about the gold. Your Honor, this man is interfering with the due process of law. Do something about it. It's too late, Alan. There's enough gold ore in the assayer's office right now to make you out the biggest liar in 40 states. This may surprise you, Isabel, but it came from the Williams mine. Chip was right about the treasure. That must be the assayer now. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, what? Did you say approximately $800 a ton ore? Incredible. Why, that's the richest vein found in these parts in years. Put it on paper as soon as possible. I want a certified assay. This puts a different complexion on the matter, Mr. Allen. Were you aware that there was gold in that mine? Why, of course not. I, I can't understand it at all. It seems to me I can understand it. Somebody must have known about it. I'll give you two guesses. Allen, this looks very much like misrepresentation on your part. Perhaps even fraud. Your Honor, this, this development surprises me as much as anybody else. But I don't think we should discuss it at this time. There's a much more important matter to settle. I want this man arrested and charged with robbery. He stole $2,000 from my office. You'll have to prove that, Ellen. I can prove it, all right. Where's my manager, Matt Ferguson? Coming right up! Mr. Ferguson has a statement to make, folks. Haven't you busted it? Well, I did have, but I'm kind of forgetful. <laughs> Where are you taking him? To the memory room. Wait a minute. It's coming back to me. I'm beginning to remember. Not cough it up. Well, there wasn't any robbery. Now, take it easy, Matt. I haven't any choice, Alan. It's either you or me. Alan framed charges against this fellow and Rogers just to get him into trouble. What about this, Alan? I withdraw the charge. The mine stays under the present ownership, doesn't it, Judge? That's exactly where it stays, till the court gives you full consent to sell it again. Freeman, hold those two men for the sheriff. Thank you, Judge. I hope I didn't cause you too much trouble. No trouble at all. That's what the law is for. Chip, I think this calls for a celebration. A real party. Oh, Isabel, I'd love it. You're all invited. Especially you, Judge. Will you come? Will I? I wouldn't miss a party at the Martinis Ranch for all the ipsa factos in Blackstone. <laughs>
guy with the cry that will wake the dead. Must be the peanutty man. Is he the clown who's around with a little basket? Could be the popcorny man. Is he wearing a smile? Is he barrels of fun? There couldn't be two. He must be the one. Hear him come along. Hear his little song by an enchilada. Patches on his feet, nothing on his feet. Why an enchilada? It's a silly whim, patronizing him, but you really gotta. Who's the man in question spreading indigestion? It's the enchilada man. I've got a penny, you've got a penny, maybe we can share one. He's got a penny, she hasn't any, maybe we can spare one. One oh. little fellow starts in the fellow, he would like to tear one. So the little peasant gets one as a present from the enchilada man. Enchilada! One, two, three. Now he's gone away, come another day, everybody's got one. See the people have see the men have punch, you got a hot one. What's he leaving for? He could sell some more. Well, you, you see, there's not fun. Everybody took him, he'll get more and cook him. He's the enchilada man. He ought to be in the opera, singing tra la 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 He's much too good for the opera. With his get him while the fresh enchilada rhapsody. He's not what I call. His heart made of gold with a new kind of voice all his own. Enchilada. <laughs> here is come along, here is a little song by an enchilada. Hands on his feet, nothing on his feet, try an enchilada. And really when patronizing him, but you really gotta. Who's the man in question spreading indigestion? He's the enchilada man. When he sells big ones, he shouts, Enchiladas! But when he sells little ones, he whispers, Enchiladas! 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 Oh, what's he leaving for? He can sell some more. Well, you see, there's not one. Everybody took them, he'll get more and cook them. He's the Enchilada Man! Whispered. Mister, take me to your airy old prairie. I love you so. Their life is sunshine. 